टूडे वी हैव गॉट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक केस नाउ दिस फोर्टी ईयर्स ओल्ड फीमेल प्रेजेंट टू मी विद हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेजिटेटिव ट्रामा टू मंथ्स बैक शी वॉज डायग्नोज विद माइक्रोबियल कैरेटाइटिस एंड शी वॉज गिवन वन वीक टॉपिकल एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड देन शी वेंट टू अनदर डॉक्टर एंड ही डायग्नोज हर एज अ केस ऑफ फंगल कैरेटाइटिस एंड स्टार्टेड ऑन फाइव परसेंट नेटामाइसिन वन आवरली ओरल कीटोकोनाजोल ही आल्सो गिव हर टू इंजेक्शन ऑफ इंट्रास्ट्रोमल फ्लूकोनाजोल एंड इन हिज नोट्स ही हैज रिटर्न इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ अल्सर बट देन द पेशेंट लेफ्ट the local town and went to tertiary care hospital they started treatment and admitted her but she refused to stay there so they then referred her to me now look at the cornea it's a classical case of fungal keratitis with the history of vegetative trauma prolonged course fatty margins satellite lesions hypopian and endothelial plaques now early course of antifungals halted its progression but uh, due to lack of proper counseling uh, the treatment need to be taken for months plus non compliance of patient poverty and non serious attitude of patient led to visit multiple doctors and centers and non adherence of therapy now i have counseled her very well that if uh, that it will take time to completely heal i started again topical intrastromal subconjunctival and oral antifungals at the end of the video you will see how i inject intrastromal fluconazole now mostly fungal keratitis is related with agriculture trauma diagnosis is clinical with corn focal microscopy anterior segment oct culture sensitivity koh staining direct microbial high examination high fee examination and corneal biopsy for small superficial keratitis 5% topical natamycin drops or nf and is the treatment of choice and close follow ups are necessary for deep and large ulcers you can add amphotericin b or fluconazole or itraconazole or ketoconazole to the natamycin and close follow up so that whether the ulcer is progressing or regressing now here we will also discuss the latest treatment modalities and all the treatment options of mycotic keratitis surgical debridement with necrotic dead tissue removal also allows increased penetration of the medical antifungals intrastromal antifungal all around the lesions provide sufficient drug increased concentration to combat infection effectively now another recent modality is corneal cross linkaging that has emerged with high year success rate previously corneal cross linkaging was done only for keratoconus for corneal ectasias but now it is also a proven modality to treat aggressive keratitis another is the nanoparticles now these are very small particles drug delivery systems they can uptake poorly soluble drugs and can be used for target specific drug delivery so drug loaded nano formulations release the drug at higher concentration for prolonged time period smaller the particle more effective and more toxic so in order to avoid ocular toxicity biodegradable nano particles are recommended another future intervention is to make a lighter thin cryoprobe that can be applied to the cornea to freeze the involved area now this freezing could be used as a microbicidal agent current heavy retinal cryoprobes are larger and can damage surrounding normal cornea if keratitis is peripheral surgical debridement with pedicle conjunctival flap is also an effective treatment modality for central non healing amniotic membrane grafting i have used with lot of success because it has got antifungal and anti inflammatory characteristics and
anterior chamber wash with BSS and intracameral antifungal injection also has good results. Now, if large or aggressive ulcer and all about treatment modalities fails, then we have got the last resort of therapeutic keratoplasty that can be done to save the vision. Now you can see that the whole cornea has been op opaque after the intrastromal injection but it will clear. Thank you very much.